the economy. Good afternoon. My name is Avery Hoskey, and for the past few months, I've been looking into how sustainable fashion impacts the economy. The fashion industry is something we all support as part of our society. However, we often fail to see the consequences of it. Trends often come and go, but as consumers, we fail to see the negative impact of the industry on the environment. Sustainable fashion helps to combat these negative effects and offer a version of the fashion industry that doesn't take away from the planet. Mass production of textiles, specifically from the fashion industry, contributes to global issues, for example, carbon emissions, deforestation, and water pollution, as well as the destruction of natural ecosystems. Rivers and streams are being polluted, as well as natural water sources. The fashion industry alone contributes to between 4 and 9% of all global carbon emissions. This is a massive problem by itself, but most fabric items are produced with microplastics that can easily get into our ecosystems and eventually destroy oceans, rivers, and many other parts of the planet. As citizens of the world, we cannot have our planet exploited for the benefit of fast fashion. Although we have all heard of sustainable fashion, the majority of the public is uninformed about what it actually is. The goal of the sustainable fashion industry is to create eco-friendly products with natural materials that do not contribute to the destruction of natural resources or pollution. Not only does sustainable fashion help to protect our planet, workers in the sustainable fashion industry often have significantly better working conditions, as well as more fair wages. Through all stages of production, the sustainable fashion industry aims to ethically produce its products. It minimizes environmental impact, promotes social equity in the workforce, and has ethical economic processes throughout the entirety of the production and distribution processes. So sustainable fashion is a great alternative to the, tra to the traditional fashion industry that contributes to envir environmental degradation. But how exactly is sustainable fashion different? Sustainable manufacturers bring designs to life using organic, recycled, and biodegradable materials to reduce environmental impact. Not only this, but safe working conditions, fair wages, and respect for workers' rights are prioritized throughout the supply chain. In the sustainable fashion industry, workers are much more likely to be paid fair wages and can realistically support them and their families. Sustainable fashion also aims to reduce waste through practices like recycling, upcycling, and circular design. To become economically successful, sustainable fashion brands need to make sure that they appeal to trends at the same time they prioritize sustainability. This will help to make sure that the brand stays ahead of the curve, as well as the brands prioritizing the evolving expectations of consumers. Brands are increasingly adopting business models, uh, offering repair and recycling services to prolong the lifespan of garments. For example, brands like Elgin Doc Martin offer cleaning and repair services on their items so consumers don't have to repurchase the same items and produce more textile waste. To become a successful and sustainable brand, companies need to prioritize transparency and innovation. Sustainable fashion is transforming the economy as well as the fashion and textile industries by producing jobs, revenue, and satisfying consumer demand, all while protecting natural resources in our planet. Compared to the conventional fashion industry, sustainable fashion prioritizes local production, skilled labor, and craftsmanship, which supports job creation and community. Workers in the sustainable fashion industry often have better working conditions and job security than those in traditional industries. The largest difference between jobs in sustainable fashion versus traditional fashion is that the sustainable fashion industry is much better for the development of skilled trades, entrepreneurship, and long-term economic growth. Many consumers are unaware of the effects of brands they support and will likely never become aware because of the public lack of information on the topic. Even consumers who are aware of the benefits of sustainable fa fashion are misinformed and believe that all sustainable brands will come at a ridiculous price and not be the same clothing that we all know and love. Realistically, the biggest difference between sustainable clothing and clothing that is not sustainable is that sustainable items are made with materials that don't harm the environment. In the entire production process... Hey, team, good afternoon. May I see the following educators in my office, please? Alec, Don, Carrie, Zach and Taylor Davenport. Thank you. Good thing it's the bus. <laughs> Sorry, hey, <Avery. laughs> I was trying to where I was. Realistically, the biggest difference between sustainable clothing and clothing that is not sustainable is that sustainable items are made with materials that don't harm the environment. 
and the entire production process be regulated to make sure it is ethical, that the final products are the same thing as what we as a society are used to, if not better. However, mentalities about the industry are becoming more positive and widespread, driven by increasing awareness of environmental and social issues. Unfortunately, some brands that tell us they are sustainable realistically participate in practices that harm the environment. Greenwashing, which is becoming more and more popular in the fashion and beauty industry, is where a brand claims to be sustainable, but in reality does not have ethical labor practices. Many consumers believe that they are supporting brands that don't participate in extreme textile waste or pollution, but they are misinformed due to brands going out of their way to come across as sustainable when they are actually just intentionally misleading their consumers to believe that they are supporting causes that they don't actually care about. These particular companies are capitalizing off environmentally conscious consumers because they offer sustainable clothing at a cheaper price, but they are actually a cause of actual sustainable brands failing. Although sustainable fashion is gaining momentum, it still faces a wide variety of challenges and it is hard for ethical brands to compete with fast fashion because their uh, initial investment costs are higher because finding renewable resources in large enough quantities to feed an entire industry can be challenging. Ensuring that employees of the companies are being paid fairly also adds to the expenses of eco-friendly clothing brands. As consumers, it's our responsibility to educate ourselves on the dangers of participating in industries that contribute to the destruction of our global landscapes. We need to make informed decisions about the companies we are supporting and prioritize brands that produce items sustainably. We all need to do our part to protect our home and participating in sustainable fashion is a simple way to participate in global conservation efforts without altering our lives. Thank you for listening. Awesome job, Avery. Does anybody have any questions? Um, how do we know if brand is sustainable or not? With the greenwashing, how can you truly know which one that is good and which one is not? Um, brands that are actually sustainable have more of like a transparent supply chain. So if you were to like do do research, you could see like the entire uh, like process of making the clothes, like where they get materials. Um, and and they, they usually have it somewhere on their website. Like the brands that I found that are like widely known for being sustainable and actually are like have that information somewhere publicly. In your research, uh, which companies did you find to be the most sustainable? Like, um, actually, Patagonia was Patagonia. the huge one. Mm -hmm. They are really expensive, so it's not mm -hmm. like practical. But they all of their stuff is ethically produced, and yeah. their employees are paid for fairly. Their stuff lasts for a long yeah. time too, doesn't it? Like yeah. it's like yes, you pay a high price tag, but you use it for such a long period. And, and they have repairs too. Do they have repairs? Circular design. Awesome. Good to know. <laughs> what are your favorite brands? Um, my favorite brands. My favorite brands are probably not actually sustainable, mm. but my favorite sustainable brands are probably Airy. They have a lot of like. They still do participate in some fast fashion practices, but overall they they have like some that are made with more eco-conscious materials. You said a number of times in your presentation that um, sustainable fashion paid more for their workers, their have better working conditions and all that. Do you think because they are so focused on what's the best for the environment and such that that then goes also towards the employees with that. You think that's why the reason it is, or is it has to go more with, with the product that they're making? I think it has more to do with like the ethical aspect of the um, industry. Just that overall, they try really hard to make sure that their goods are ethical, where they get them from, how they make them. So I, th I think like paying their employees fairly, like if actual living wages, is just like part of that. Which countries um, are they doing the manufacture for the ethical, sustainable um, manufacturing? That was all over the world. A lot of them is actually um, more local, like locals, um, local brands that are more family-owned, small businesses. They usually have much more uh, sustainable goods. Okay. Did you see any countries that had less um, sustainable and ethical? Uh, China and Indonesia, for sure. That's where most of the like factories are. Yeah, the, the fast fashion factories, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Any other questions? All right, 
Great job, everybody.